Hello friends, welcome to the My Test Tech YouTube channel. My name is Prince and this is our 7th JavaScript lecture and in this lecture we will make a simple calculator by the use of prompt books in the JavaScript. That how to make a simple calculator program in the JavaScript? So let us start friends. So first of all friends, to make a calculator, what do we need? We need two numbers. There is the first number and the second number. Why? Because the game of the calculator is based on the two numbers. Like we have to add these two numbers, we have to subtract these two numbers, we have to multiply these two numbers and also we have to divide these two numbers. So you want two numbers. And in this program, these two numbers will be added by the user. So if you want that these two numbers should be added by the user, that's why we have to use here the prompt box method. That is the prompt dialog box method. So let us write the prompt box method for the first number that is the prompt and then the bracket and between that bracket that double quotes and between that double quotes we have to write that message which you want to show to the user that you have to enter that. Let us write here that is enter first number and then what semicolon and also I have to store the value of the prompt box into a variable that is variable a is equals to a plus b variable a is equals to prompt. So what I did here whatever the value usually will enter in the prompt box that will store onto the variable that is a. I hope that you have the knowledge of variable. If you don't have the knowledge of variable, then you can visit my previous lecture in which I have explained everything in the detail about the variable friends. Now let us create another prompt box for the second number that is the prompt box and then the bracket and between that bracket there is the double quotes and let us write here the message that is the enter second number and then semicolon friends. And also I have to assign, I have to give it the variable name that is variable b is equals to prompt box. So whatever the value user will enter in the prompt box, second prompt box that will store onto the variable that is b. Now what we want friends? We want to add these two numbers, we want to subtract these two numbers. So first of all let us add these two numbers. So to add these two numbers you can write here that is the document dot write method that is it will print the number that is the addition of the two numbers that is a plus b. And then you can, you can do it in the two ways. And then you can write here that is a plus b inside the document node method or you can either cry, create the another variable that will store the sum of these two, two variables. That is variable sum is equals to a plus b. What I did here, I have stored the value of the, that is sum of the two numbers that into the variable that is a. Now what I have to do, I have to call that sum variable out to that. So instead of writing a plus b here, I can write here that is the sum variable because the sum variable is containing the value of a plus b also. So I have called that sum variable into that method and it will give us the result of that is the a plus b that is the sum of two numbers. Now control plus s and then now you can see here the desktop that our calculator named html file has been made. Now double click on that friends. Now you can see that it is asking us that please enter the first number that is our first prompt box has been come. Let us enter the value that is the 4 and then OK. Let us enter the value that is the 2 in the second prompt box. Now it will not add these two numbers like here. You can see that it is not adding these two numbers. The result should be 6 but it is 42. Why? Why it is not adding these two numbers? As I explained you in my previous lecture that the Charles series is considering the prompt box value as a string. So that's why we have to convert that string into the integer friend. So to convert that string into the integer, we have to use the parse int method first, which I have explained in my previous lecture first. You can watch that lecture first. So let us write here the parse int method, that is remove that, and I have to write here that is the parse int parse, and the i should be capital, and the int. That is parse int, and the bracket of the parse int, and between the bracket of the parse int, we have to write our prompt box method, that is the prompt prompt and then the bracket of the prompt box also friends and in the double quotes we have to write that is the enter first number and again we have to press here the semicolon friends and also we have to store that parse it value that is where into the variable a is equals to parse it notice here i should be capital of the parse it so i have converted the string value of the prompt box because prompt box is considering the string value into the integer friends and this value is stored into the variable that is a Again, the second that is that and parse it. Notice here parse it, I should be capital and the bracket of the parse it, I have to write here the prompt box method that is the prompt and the bracket and let us write here the message that is the enter second number friends. Second number and then the semicolon and also I have to store it in the variable that is variable b is equals to parse it. That's about it sir. Now control plus s and then of control plus r enter the first number that is 4. 
okay under the second number that is 2 okay now you can say that it is giving us the result that is the 6 now it is not concatenating the string it is considering that it is a number friend so this is about the parse it method that you can use that friends now let us create another variable that is the uh, let us uh, do the subtraction of these two numbers so to do the subtraction of these two numbers either you can write here that is the document don't write either you can write here that is a minus b so instead of writing a minus b i can make another variable for the subtraction that is variable subtraction is equals to a minus b friends making variables separate variables is very necessary because whenever you make a large program then you will need these variables friends so make a habit make a variable for each and everything so let us call that variable that is the subtraction and then semicolon what i did here i have called that some variable onto that method and i have called that subtraction variable onto that method friends now control plus s and then now control plus r now enter the first value that is 4 okay enter the second value that is 3 okay now you can see here that it is giving us the result but it is 71 that is 4 plus 3 is 7 and 4 minus 3 is 1 it is giving us the result but here you are confused that what is sum here and what is subtraction here you are confused here so what do we have to do to remove that problem we have to give the name that is the 7 is the sum and the 1 is the subtraction so to do like that what do we have to do in the document dot write method you have to write that is remove that and you have to write here that double quotes and in that double quotes we have to print the message that you write the message that is the sum is sum is and after that double quotes we have to write here that is the plus symbol and then name of the variable that is sum so what i did here friends i have put the message that is sum is between the double quotes and after that i have used here the plus symbol plus symbol is for the concatenations either you can use here the comma either you can use here the sum either you can use the plus and i have called that sum onto that here section that is the sum variable into that now also for the second one that is again let us remove that and then the double quotes and then the subtraction is subtraction subtraction is is and after that after the double quote that is plus and then the name of the variable that is the subtraction plus so i have called that variable that is sum as subtraction here now control plus s and then control plus r let us write the first message that is the four okay two okay now you can see that it is giving the result that is the sum is six and the subtraction is two but now it is also not looking good because what we want we want that this subtraction value that is this subtraction message should be in the next line that is in that next line that is the below the sum it is in the first line but this should be in the next line so to do like that what we need we need to give the break into that document to try it method to that subtraction method we don't need to give the break into the first sum method because it is already in the first place but sec second line we have to use here that is the break method that is after that that is br tag br tag this is about that so now control plus s and then control plus r let us write here the message that is seven okay four okay now you can see that it is giving the result that is the sum is 11 and the subtraction is three now it is in the another line it is in the second line friends so this is about that friends now let us create another variable for the multiplication friends these are the arithmetic operator or arithmetic operators friends that you have to know about that friends okay so multiplication that is the variable multiply is equals to a star b friends this is for the multiplication this will multiply these two numbers again variable that is for the division is equals to a divided by b this is for the division and again a that is variable for the modulus modulus is equals to a we use modulus that is a percentage here a percentage b what is that modulus means that it will give the remainder of that two numbers that you want to divide it will give the remainder friends okay now let us call that here like that document dot write that is print that document dot write and then the double quotes and again here i have to write here the br tag that is a break tag and in that i have to write here that is the product is product is and again that is the plus and i have to call the variable that is the multiply friends okay friends so again i have to write here that so again what i have to do i have to write here that is the document that is let us copy paste that friends copy paste that copy it like that copy it control c and then control v again copy it paste it or what i have to do i just have to change here like that the division is division is and i have to change here the variable name that is the divisor press now what you want i have to write here that is the remainder is remainder 
is and I have to change the variable name that is the modulus that I have right here. Notice here what I did here. I have called these variables that is the sum to onto that, subtraction onto that, and then division and so on. Okay, modulus onto that, friends. So this is about that, and I have given the break in that. Now control plus S and then control plus R. Let us write the first number that is seven. Okay, and second number that is the three. Okay, now you can see that it is giving us the result that is the sum is ten, subtraction is four, product is twenty one, division is two, uh, in that, and the remainder is one. This is about that, friends. Now, one concept has to be noticed, friends. Control R. If you give here the floating points value, that is a seven point eight, okay, and then uh, two point four, okay. Now you can see that it is not giving the result. It is skipped the points value, friends. It is not giving us that that is the point value, friends. Here, that should be here. So to remove that problem, what you have to do, we have to write here the parse float method instead of parsing. We have to write here the parse float method. It will contain all the values. That is the parse float method. I have explained that in my previous lecture, friends. Now control plus S and then now control plus R. Let us write here the values. That is seven point eight. Okay, two point two. Okay. Now you can see here that it is giving the result in the float stack. Like that, five point six pairs. Okay, now control plus R again, seven point eight. Okay, two point six. Okay, now you can see that it is giving the result in the float value. That is the exact value, friends. So this is our complete program of the calculator. So this is about that. In our next lecture, we will study about the important concept that is the if else condition in the JavaScript friends. So that's about this friends. Thank you very much for watching. If you like my video, then can subscribe my channel, share my channel, and also press the bell icon so that the notification of my all the new videos will show to the notification bar of your mobile phone. So take care friends. Thank you. Bye bye.